Hello, everybody. Welcome to Doctor K New Math Channel. And this question is from C U H K exam. Co uh, the topic is compass variable. The cause cause code is compass variable. Let's look at the de uh, detail of this question, and express the following and uh, for part A, express the following compass number in the form of x e z equal to x plus i y, and it is standard form of this. Okay. <laughs> If uh, z is equal to cosine bracket one minus i, and let's let's remember that actually cosine theta is equal to e i theta e to the power i theta plus e to the power negative i theta over two. Therefore, we can apply this e to the power i one plus i plus e to the power negative i, 1 plus i, over 2. Oh, so, so nice. Okay, multiply the i into the bracket. That is i plus uh, minus 1, plus uh, e 1 plus, uh, 1 minus i. That denominator is two, okay. <laughs> then e negative one e i plus e e negative i over two, and change back to the e i into cosine theta cosine one plus i. Psi one, that's one. And for this one, e e to the power le negative i should be equal to cosine negative one, which is one minus i psi one. And group the terms uh, cosine to uh, cosine and psi. Then we have cosine one times e negative 1 plus e over 2. This is uh, this is a hyperbolic cosine. And minus psi 1. And e minus e put to the power negative 1 over 2. That is hyperbolic psi. <laughs> Therefore, the answer is equal to cosine 1 times hyperbolic cosine 1 minus psi 1 times hyperbolic psi 1 of course you you can uh, write in 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 the form of the numerical uh, answer but uh, i i think uh, it is uh, you can use both answer is okay okay I, I I adopt this answer. Uh, okay, for this part, for the part B, uh, so that e to the power e z conjugate is equal to e to the power uh, e z conjugate. Okay, for left hand side, e to the power e z conjugate means e to the power x plus i y mm, this is e to the power x times e to the power i y change this to cosine y plus i psi y yeah the conjugate side For the uh, real number is we 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 don't need to care. Therefore, the conjugate side can be changed to this one, negative side. Therefore, this is e x to the power cosine negative y plus i side negative y. Move the negative side into the bracket. E to the power x times e to the power minus i y. E to the power 
x minus i y. That is, that is equal e to the power e set conjugate. That is result of we want. Yes. Okay, for part C, ln and this capital ln i x not equal to three times ln i. Uh, the main the main part I think uh, it is the problem of the uh, argument because we 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 can see that uh, uh, for for this one for this one I I uh, for the function ln. ln e z this ln module e z plus i argument e z but we have to restrict the argument of e z which is negative pi to pi it, it is in principle argument therefore ln i ln i then ln the modulus i is equal to 1 plus the principal argument of i is equal to pi over 3 pi over 2 that is this one okay therefore phi ln i is equal to uh, this is 0 i phi pi over 2 Okay, that's the right hand side. Then for the left hand side, ln i to the power cube, which is equal to ln negative i. And negative i, uh, the principal argument, I emphasize the principal argument is equal to negative pi over 2, not 3 pi over 2. And ln the argument of this one, uh, the, the length of magnitude of the negative i is equal to 1, ln equal to 1 is 0. Therefore, this should be equal to negative pi over 2i. Therefore, phi times ln i is actually not equal to ln i to the power group. Okay. That is the uh, part of this one. Okay, for for this one, uh, this is easy, very easy one, because uh, all the uh, final derivative for the following function of this function, uh, for for normal function, it, if uh, it is another, we can differentiate directly. This is this is equal to uh, times. Let me see, eighteen times three equal to fifty four e set to the power two minus. Uh, 1 over 2 e z plus 4. That is the derivative of this function. This is the, the mark is where I uh, give you. Yes, it is easy mark. Okay, uh, determine the following function is analytic or not. Okay, but I think I and uh, uh, my student uh, give me a very smart method of doing this function and for a uh, normal polynomial. A polynomial a n e z n plus a n minus one e z n minus one plus a one e z plus a log is another and the power of uh, for example e to the power of polynomial p e z this is a piece. Therefore, e to the power of p is an is analytic also. Uh, if we adopt this fact, we can do this uh, this question uh, in an easy way. No need to use uh, coach Weyman and equation. No need to use coach Weyman equation. That is, uh, for this one, this is equal to e to the power i to x i. Then we have e, oh, sorry, x y. 
then x squared plus and minus y squared minus and plus 2xyi. And this is equal to ez x plus i y to the power 2. Therefore, f ez is equal to e to the power ez squared. It's an add. <laughs> yes. So, like, I think for the part B and part E is very easy. Okay. But anyway, if you found Dr. Kim's channel is useful, please subscribe my channel.